I want to pull up this story from the Daily Mail. Bruce Willis sells rights to permit right? deep fake digital twin of himself to be created to, for use on screen, allowing him to come out of retirement after aphasia diagnosis. What? No, he's what? not coming out of retirement. This is just the beginning of what, what, what should we call this? We need an era. The deep fake era. Scanner darkly era. Scanner yeah, darkly yeah. era. Look, we were just talking about how what? they you're not going to know what's real. Yeah, They're, they'll, they'll deep fake a video of, you know, Trump or something. And then people are just going to believe it. I was on Rogan's show. Uh, it was, I think it was last year. And he asked me, he's like, are you worried about the deep fake stuff? And I was like, nah, I don't, I don't, I'm not worried about that because, you know, people, you're, they're going to know where Trump is. They're going to know where, you know, whoever the president is, they're going to know where they're at when they're speaking. Now that I'm looking at it, and I think I deeply underestimated the abilities of deep fake technology. Yeah. And this is just the beginning. A video will go viral and it will be of president, you know, one, two, three, whoever. And they'll say something that won't sound too crazy, but will be worrying. Mm -hmm. They'll say something like, this, this, this is what you need to watch out for. You'll get a video of a president saying, we need to focus on our tax reduction plan. And all they'll do is change reduction to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, incremental. Something very simple to shift support away from the person. They'll say something like, it is true we're offering a 1% income tax reduction. And then they take that video and deep fake increase. And then they send that out. It goes viral. This is when, when I hear them say stuff like, you know, we have to be concerned about missing disinformation. Hey, they're not wrong. That Jacinda Ardern being like, people will use misinformation. I'm like, they will. The problem is it's primarily been coming from government and major corporations. So my fear is not the random dude in his living room who somehow gets access to a deep fake generator or a, like a good one because people can actually get these consumer grade ones. My concern is government or military grade technology that can generate deep fakes. And then one day you're an anti-war activist. You're, you're say a Julian Assange. And then all of a sudden a video gets leaked, which is indistinguishable from, from, from any other normal video of you saying something believable, but reputation damaging. And you come out and say, that's a deep fake. And people are going to be like, oh, get out of here, conspiracy theorist. And then the media can run the video. And when you threaten to sue, they'll say, but your honor, we have a video of him saying it. And the judge is going to be like, can you prove it's fake? And they're going to go, how do you prove it's fake? It's a deep fake. And they're like, yeah. either prove it's a deep fake or it stands. That's the world we're entering. And, and you know what? I got to tell you, we're there already. Yeah. We are there now. This story about Bruce Willis, this is entertainment. I've heard that people, that government organizations will like put files on people's computer and then go get their, you, oh, you got oh, child yeah. porn on your computer. There and then was they a, bust somebody who is that? Who is they that? They do, so do that with deep yes. fakes too. They call, as government mean to control the mind? I mean, meant is like, meant is, meant is, is mind. Govern, the, the, the root of the word is to direct or control. It's a Rome, it's a Latin term. It's just mind control. I mean, that's the <laughs> essence of government is controlling <laughs> yeah. people's thoughts. Well, and, and it must be noted that the, that Jefferson, the, the quote on the inside of the Jefferson Memorial is, I declare eternal hostility against any form of tyranny over the mind of man, mm. and that they were wanting to tear it down in 2020. Interesting. That's wow. all, I, you know. Wow, and man. We, we also have to understand that this technology also is developing at such a very fast rate. This is what's public. What is not public? What don't we know about? And personally, from my own speculations and my own kind of thinking about this, if you could deep fake actors and, and certain videos, you could probably deep fake individuals. You could probably deep fake uh, influencers. You could mm -hmm. probably deep fake entire social media accounts to pretend to be somebody pushing an agenda that, of course, is going to be making videos, is going to having, uh, you know, the, the selfies, is going to be, of course, broadcasting about everything, but everything's going to be user computer AI generated to push a certain idea to emotionally manipulate you in a certain way that benefits a multinational corporation or a private entity and interest that of course have an in, that 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 want to manipulate you for their own personal causes who's going to be doing that very powerful people the corp the, the billionaires the multinational corporations the government the secret societies the intelligence agencies all of the people now saying hey you having free speech is bad we need to control all of it which is an absurd idea and 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 what ian is saying is, is, is not too far away from the reality. It is trauma-based mind control that a lot of people are going through, are unaware of it. And this is one of the main ways that they, they use to control people is with emotions. And now AI-generated content creators, I think that's something that we should be looking out for. Ian yeah. is 100% correct. 
ment, the, uh, that's the suffix, comes from the uh, Latin mente, meaning Mentis, mind. Yeah, mental. Mm -hmm. And then govern is to steer, drive, or control. Oh, right. good to know. There you go. So blatant. And it doesn't have steer to be the, the people mind. we're paying taxes to. That's not, doesn't mean that's the current government of the day. Who's the current government of the day? Google. Alphabet. Yes. They're controlling yes. what we see, yeah. hear, and think. Mm -hmm. I mean, not directly, but indirectly. Well, I think directly. I mean, they're, you, you they're, can they're still throwing it right in. at you. You at can opt point. in, but not really. I mean, go 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 down the street. I, I was at a water park just uh, just not too long ago in the middle of Oklahoma, and I went up and I was like, "Hey, I need some quarters." They were like, "We're cashless. We, we, we don't accept cash." You know what I mean? And in order to do that, then, well, okay, well, I've got a phone. I don't have my card. You know, maybe it's in the locker or whatever. You have to opt into the technology to be a part of society now. So I, I, I think it's absolutely direct and it's pervasive and it's becoming more and more pervasive in not just the AI way or not just the deep fake way, but in the everyday I, I've got to feed my family, you know, go to school kind of way that everyone deals with. And that's that's the real danger of this is that it's it's a part of everyday life.